Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. We will be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage of season 13 of... Bitch, that hair. Baby, I am feeling this hair today. Yes, God. My gosh. I feel very Alyssa Edwards in this. It's huge. I love it. It's so big. Oh, that's what he said. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we've got 10 girls left. Today's theme is... Beat it. So they had to wear things made of beads. They had to use any type of beading they could to create a look. I love beads. I love glass beads. I love uh, crystal beads. I love anal beads. Yes, I love anal beads. I love uh, I love Beady Beady Bomb Bomb, one of my favorite songs. Um, so bring it on. Category is beat it. Let's bring on our first girl. Denali. Oh, bitch. She came as the chandelier. She said she want to swing from the chandelier. No, she's going to be the chandelier. Be the chandelier, bitch. That's fabulous. It's beautiful. If you took that piece off that's around the bottom half of her, there's still a beautiful beadwork on the gown under it. That's attention to detail, bitch. That's be dutiful. Be dutiful? Oh my goodness. And that hair. I love everything about it. There's something that kind of makes me feel very like, like Ziegfeld Follies about it. You know, it's such a gorgeous costume. I love the piece around her neck that found, that creates a sort of fountain effect. The scalloping at the bottom with that little like crinoline piece. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And, and Denali deserves a toot for this. It's beautiful. Well done. Work. Two. Next we bring to the stage... Rosé. Oh, it's those little plastic craft beads. Oh! Rosé. Now that's how you come to the goddamn runway. Darling, that is spectacular. Gorgeous. And the hair. Everything about this I love. Let me see the shoe. Is she wearing that sensible office shoe? Yeah, but at least it's a fun color. Head to toe, beautiful. The sculptural wearable art piece that she has on her body right now is remarkably stunning. It takes a lot of work. That does. That is not a simple process. That is an absolute two. Two. Next we bring to the stage. La La Rie. She's giving you Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras beads. You know, Mardi Gras beads are iconic. I think a lot of times we, when we see them on costumes, we'd like to dismiss them as being a little bit cheap. Sometimes I do. But when you really think about it, it is a bead and it is iconic. It is something that, that is used celebratory. I love this as a reference. I love that she's used it. Uh, a lot of the times those beads end up polluting, so. Why not wear it? The thing with the beads from Mardi Gras is they are synonymous with the fact that you are a tramp and you showed parts of your naked body in order to get those. And she is covered in them. So I love it. She looks very samba as well. I love it. I give it a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage, Got Mick. You know what? Anal beads. Didn't you, didn't you just say anal beads? Yep. Anal beads, bitch. I think got mixed gone for anal beads. I love anal beads. I might own some anal beads. Might. No, she does. <laughs> My favorite thing is the bracelet. The bubbles are really, really cool. That, the entire bubble effect of it, I love it. It's a really interesting interpretation of it. It's exaggerated. The actual anal beads are hanging off the dress. Spectacular. See what I mean? Anal beads, go for it. It is the obvious, it's hysterical, it's provocative, it's nasty, and I love it. If you're gonna be the beads, be the anal beads. Just make sure you clean them off before you make a costume. You think she smells like... <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> that is a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage, Olivia Lux. So she's got the beaded barrettes, she's got the beaded jump rope, and she's got beads on her shoelaces. So it's a cute, fun, childlike take on beads. And I love the colors. And of course, we saw Candy Muse in this wig a couple weeks ago. 
I think it's the same wig, just with different pieces in it. If not, it's very similar. Yeah. If there are two queens that showed up with this same style wig, we are in for- We're in for the same over and over again, whether it be a little purse or a wig with a bunch of little barrettes and beads in it. Anyway, this look is really cute. I like that it, that it harkens to days gone by in the 80s. And the Twin Towers are on that skyline. It's a really an homage to New York City. Um, and so yes, I give this look a total two. Toot. Next we bring to the stage... Utica. Ooh. Look at the sleeves on that. Beautiful. She's a goth bride. I love it. It's obviously something that's thought out. It's haphazard and draped and kind of scary. There's a little tinge of horror to it. Just a tiny bit. Just a skosh, a smidgen. Yeah, not too much. I'm just glad it's not black. The thing that you would go to for something like this would be do it in black. Black cage, black lace, black veil. I like that it's white and it's covered in pearls and it's covered in, you know, different types of beads. And then everything's, like you said, haphazard. It's very haphazard. It's just kind of thrown thrown on there. I've, and I've always loved that with just a bunch of beaded jewelry just kind of thrown on and let it land where it does. I think she looks spectacular and I give her a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage, Candy Muse. Yes, Candy Muse. I would expect nothing but a costume that looked like this from Candy Muse. She's very influenced by Cardi B, Doja Cat, Megan Thee Stallion, all these beautiful women in rap music who are really highly, highly stylized and glamour, darling. And it's kind of naughty too, you know, because it's got that showgirl, the showgirl tits that are cut out. I love it. She looks like she lives the glamorous life and I adore this outfit. I love everything about it. Head to toe, bitch. All together, it could be messy. And you could look at it and be like, girl, you're gonna put more of those on, but all together. And you know, it's in my favorite color, beige. She looks beautiful. It's a toot. It's a toot. Next, we bring to the stage, Simone! The back of those braids are completely beaded and it says her name. Oh my God, Simone! I was gonna say Simone forever, but Wakanda forever may go with this. This is spectacular. It looks, it gives me a little bit of like a Maasai tribal kind of feel to it. Her body is kicking. It is like, she looks gorgeous. Everything, everything, it, ah. Uh, and the fact that her name is spelled out in the back. It's actual beading, the same beads that her costume is made out of that, that girls back in the day would wear on the ends of their braids. And they, she said that once I get to the end of the runway and I turn around, I'm not done yet, you won't get another piece of this. She's gonna remind you who she is. That is a toot. It's a toot. Next we bring to the stage, Tina Burner. She's dressed like a jester. Okay, so she takes off the pants and she reveals a tiny little skirt. Okay, so there's reveals. Um, Tina Burner loves reveals. And then she takes off the cups and her tits are showing. The look is, is called Beat It. So the thing needs to be beads. You need to look at it and go, wow, look at those beads. Look at that bead work. You know what? I was going to try to give it a chance. And I and I looked at it. At first I was like, ooh, because the whole thing as, you know, before the reveals was not good. And then she revealed and then it was like, oh, okay, that's kind of like, put that back on. And then she took the other thing off and I was like, oh, put that back on. Mardi Gras beads are iconic. And I like that she's used this as her theme, but uh, I think she focused too much on reveals. What do you think? I think that she does try to use that as more of a, um, like a shtick. You don't have to be a fashion queen. You don't have to be someone who every time you step on a, on a runway, everyone is, you know, taken by what you're wearing. But there is a way to do this and not just look like you're wearing a frumpy frock with a little, like a little bit of beadwork. And it's not even done in a way that's like, wow, look at how she used those. Looks like it's just kind of ill-fitting. I don't know, I'm, I'm not into it. So it's all a boot for me. Boot. Tina, burn it. Tina, <laughs> burn it down. Tina, bring me the ax. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, Elliot with two T's. 
Oh, here's some more Mardi Gras beads. Uh, <laughs> uh, at first I said iconic, but now they're just kind of seeming basic. But you know what? Hold up. Let me take all of that back. This is gorgeous. It really is. Everything about it from the piece on her head to the makeup to the dress, the gloves, everything. It's beautiful. The headpiece is great. The dress and the draping is fabulous. The neck piece, wonderful. Her makeup looks stunning. She's a flapper. Absolutely, and even though they are Mardi Gras beads, it's done in a way that's more Gatsby than it is Mardi Gras. And she's taken these beads and done a whole thing with them that's just so different from what everyone else has done. So I give her a toot. Stunning toot. Trend alert! Mardi Gras beads! Mardi Gras beads! Oh, show, show us tips. your tits! <laughs> show me your tits! Mardi uh -huh. Gras beads! Mardi Gras beads! Mardi Gras Mardi, beads. Mardi, 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 Mardi Gras beads! Our, Our top, top two, two of the week, week is... is Denali! Work, bitch. Denali! Yas Denali! You make me want to swing from a chandelier. She is the chandelier, darling. I see a you. There's no denying that Denali is the top two of the week. Oh, yes. Oh. Be sure to watch a new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 13 every Friday night on VH1. And if you don't have VH1 where you're at, you can subscribe to WOW Presents Plus and watch every single episode of RuPaul's Drag Race ever. And go to the WOW store online and get you some backdrops like the workroom and the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. All right, thanks for joining us. See you next week, everyone. Bye. Bring Bye. Back my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls.